When dividing decimals, I would recommend setting up a long division problem. In this case, we have 6 divided by 1.5. And I'm going to go ahead and throw a decimal at the end of the 6. Remember, uh, 6 is the same as 6 with a decimal after it. Same value. First off, you want to make sure your divisor, the number that's going into uh, into the other number is written without a decimal. So what we want to do is we want to move this decimal place over one. So I'm going to take this and move it over one space. And then I'm going to also have to take this decimal here and move that over one space, which is actually going to give me a zero to fill in there. So if I am uh, redoing my problem here. Let me give myself some room. I'm going to now have 15 dividing into 60. Now I know 15 uh, does not go into 6, but 15 does go into 60 actually four times and um, I notice there's not going to be any remainder. So the answer here is 4. Your basic strategy is always to write this outside number without a decimal, move it over as many places as needed, then move over uh, the inside decimal the same amount, and then divide like normal. Next we have 0 0.12 divided by 0 0.1. So let's start by writing that out. We've got uh, 0 0.12 divided by 0 0.1. Remember, our first step is going to be to move this decimal place over here. So here we move one space. That means here we're going to move one space. And our new problem we have is going to look like this. It's going to look like 1 divided into uh, 0, 1.2, which this actually is just the same as 1.2 because we've got a zero in the tens column here. So if we continue, we're looking at what number does one, well, one doesn't go into zero, but one does go into one, one time. Now I have my uh, one times one, that brings a one down here. I subtract, gives me a zero. I bring down my two. Now I know that one goes into two twice. So I put a two up here, uh, two times one, gives me a 2, I subtract, I have a, a 0 remainder so I know I'm finished. Now the decimal here always is going to remain in the exact same position. So this is just going to go directly above the decimal there and my answer is going to be 1.2. Okay, this last one is a real doozy. Uh, we're actually not going to solve it all the way through but I want you to pay close attention to the strategies we use and um, Hopefully you can see how we would solve it if we continued. So uh, let's do it. everything that we've been doing. Here we have 1.8 divided by 3.62579. Start by, that's right, writing out a long division. So we have 1.8 divided by 3.62579. First off. We need to move this decimal until it makes this whole thing a whole number. So let's count how many spaces. We have one, two, three, four, five. So we're moving this over five spaces. That means we're also going to have to move this over five spaces. So if we have one, two, and remember we need to add a zero every time after, three, four, and five. And we add another zero, and our decimal's way out here. Uh, notice we have one, two, three, four, five. So if we rewrote this problem out, we would have three, six, two, five, seven, nine, divided into one, eight, zero, 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 zero with a decimal place here. Uh, we know our decimal place is going to have to go here. 
because it has to stay in the same spot. Now we would start looking for numbers that 36,000, sorry, 362,579 goes into 180,000, and uh, you'd continue from there. Uh, that number looks too big, so you'd have to add another zero and see how many times that goes into it, so on and so forth, um, which could be a lot of work. I know you could do it if you wanted to, but uh, you're probably tired of hearing me talk about dividing decimals by now, so I'm going to sign off. Um, just remember, you want to write the outside number as a whole number, uh, move the inside decimal the same number of spaces, then divide like you normally would.